Hi everyone, so nice to see you all again. My name's Zoe if you've not met me before and it is actually the 20th of December today. So there's five days until Christmas. I'm so excited today. I was just gonna do a little vlog, show you what we're getting up to. I've got, I went and got a few more bits and bobs yesterday. We went Christmas shopping in town and then we got back in the evening and there was a big announcement saying that basically we, we've not got our five days to spend with family anymore. I just got the one day. Um, so we're still going to have my parents round just on Christmas Day and that'll be it. But that's just life, isn't it, at the moment? I was kind of a, like half expecting it anyway, if I'm being honest. So um, that's it. I've got to remain cheery though. I've got things to do that will keep me nice and Christmassy and in the Christmas spirit. So I've got, got some ginger biscuits yesterday that we can decorate. And then I've got all my Christmas cakes to decorate as well. So I was going to like give some to Michael and then I'll do some and we'll see like we'll have like a little competition like a little bake-off see who's it turns out the best I mean I'm betting it'll be Michael because he's definitely more creative than me <laughs> but hey -ho. <clears throat> I will still try my best and it, they'll know it's homemade <laughs> so I've obviously got my Stranger Things outfit on again it's like my favourite at the moment I just love it it's so cozy and soft <laughs> so I've just put a little bit of makeup on just really tinted moisturizer and a little bit of highlighter just to like brighten up my face a bit I just didn't want to put like a full face of makeup on today so I'm just going to quickly get dressed and then we're going to go out for a little walk and actually send my postcards well put my postcards put my Christmas cards onto the post box <laughs> um and then Hopefully they will get sent before Christmas, but I think I've left it a bit late because it's Sunday today, so they won't go off today, they'll go off tomorrow. Um, so sorry guys if your Christmas cards are a bit late, I just left it a bit late. I actually, I took them into town, I had them in my pocket all day yesterday and I ended up, I couldn't find a post box, so they didn't get sent on time. I do apologise if they're late, but the thought was there and I wrote them out like a week ago. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what else are we doing today? Yeah, just kind of getting stuff done. Michael's got a couple of shelves to put up in the living room just to clear a bit of space as well and get stuff out of the kitchen, like all these tools and stuff. We'll get them all tidied away, squared away in the shed. So yeah, once we get all that done, I'm hoping like the living room will be a bit tidier and nicer <laughs> and more homely. Um, so I will show you the results of that as well. So that's quite exciting. I showed you the shelves that he done up at the dining table like the other week. So um, it's going to be similar just on the other side behind the couch. And then I've got some boxes to put underneath because it'll be behind the couch. So it's, it's not going to be stuff that we access all the time. It'll just be to put things away, just to have a bit of, a bit of storage space. We've not really got many cupboards in our house. Well, we've got the one cupboard, but it's, it's Eddie's room. <laughs> <laughs> the cupboard under the stairs so his um, crate takes up a lot of the room in there so we've not really got a huge amount of storage in this house and I've got my wardrobe obviously my beautiful wardrobe <laughs> that Michael built for me that I like to sit in and chat to you guys in <laughs> it's got the best lighting I've got a little light up mirror in front of me <laughs> um <clears throat> okay Sorry for waffling on again guys, let's get to work. I'm going to get dressed and <laughs> I'll see you when I'm better dressed. <laughs> so we've already been out for our walk and I've finally posted the Christmas cards so hopefully they get to people on time. And I'm currently wrapping the kids money wallets. I've just bought them a little box of chocolates and I put some a couple of little mini candy canes on as well. I thought that just looked like cute, like a little love heart. Um, so I thought I'd just show you how I've done this. And David is currently in his way through a load of matchmakers just to keep them entertained because Michael's putting up the shelves. So, very exciting stuff happening. So, I found a use for the paper that I cut to a small. It fits a box of matchmakers perfectly. So I'm just cutting a bit of paper. <laughs> and I'm just going to tilt the camera so you can see what I'm doing more. You should be able to see that now. Okay. So we have a bunch of matchmakers. What's your favourite kind? My favourite is the mint ones. I think David is enjoying the mint ones too, aren't you, darling? 
How many have you had? About ten. We've had far too many. It's keeping them happy because he doesn't like the drill sound that my is making over there. <laughs> You're happy and a, a happy good boy, aren't you? He's a good boy. Yes. Oh no. So I actually forgot I got these. These are little sticky glue dots. So I'm actually going to just use these. It's just to stick it on to the present. So that's their money wallet there. And then another little glue dot. Well, these are quite difficult to work with. <laughs> that one's a bit sharp, I don't like the look of that one. Right, and then I'm just arranging the candy cane on like this. One on top of the other. And you don't want it to be stuck down too well because the kids want to be able to eat it, obviously. So, now we have it. Just a little love heart candy cane, I thought that was cute. And then just to secure it in place as well, I'm just going to tie a little bit of ribbon round. So there we go, how cute is that? Well, I think it's cute anyway. Right. Oh. Also done. There is a baby in the family and obviously didn't want to give him candy cane so I've just I tied a little happy hippo in there so I thought it would be a lot easier for him to eat. <laughs> How cute! <laughs> so Michael's managed to get these shelves done. I think they look a lot better than the IKEA number that we had in before. <laughs> um, so the only thing, like I can't really think of anything else to put on this one just now, but I'm sure it'll soon get filled up. I'm just trying to keep it a bit minimal until I think of things that I need to keep at hand. And obviously that doesn't look very, <laughs> like the most nice decor, but it's just a necessity for now. But yeah, I love it. And I managed to get all of the kids present wrapped, so that was really good. I've actually only got maybe three or four more to do, just like extra bits for like the men and the family because I'm rubbish at buying for men so I've left it all to the last minute. Um, so just going to do that just now and then that's me basically already for Christmas. There is a couple more bits to just wrap for Michael because I got a couple extra bits while I went out shopping and same for David so I've got a couple more bits for them but I can do them tomorrow or the next day or something or I could even leave that to Christmas Eve I just wanted to get all the like family like sisters and brothers and everything done like so we can drop them off before Christmas fingers crossed if we're allowed <laughs> to travel and go and drop things off I think we're allowed to drop things off people's doors and stuff as long as we don't go in it's so confusing right now isn't it so I'm just having a little cup of tea after dinner we just had like cheese and crackers for dinner because Again, we couldn't be bothered cooking and there's just a lot going on. Mick was working, doing the DIY, so I was obviously keeping an eye on David and he ended up falling asleep on me in the sling, so he had a little nap on me, so I couldn't really do much um, at that point as well. Sorry, I'm all shiny again. I think I've got the wrong moisturiser or something, but what you gonna do? I need to get one for oily skin. I never used to have oily skin until I had David, funnily enough. It's really weird. My skin has just totally changed since having a baby. Has that, that happened to anyone else? I don't know if I'm just weird, maybe. Oh, and as well, I meant to show you this. Remember I done the Christmas Eve boxes the other day and I didn't have enough letters to write David's name on? Well, I ended up finding some more Scrabble letters in the works. So that's his Christmas Eve box all sorted now. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I think it is. I mean, it's not... Not perfectly straight or anything, but then you can tell it's homemade, that's what I say. Yeah, what else am I doing tonight? I did want to get the cakes done tonight, but it's getting a bit late. It's where's my watch? It's quarter past seven already, so I'm, I'm gonna have to leave it till the morning, I think. Um, I mean, it'll not take long, it's just a bit of a faff because 
there's seven cakes to do <laughs> so it'll, it'll take a bit longer just because there's quite a few cakes but if it was just one cake it wouldn't be too bad yeah I said cake a lot there didn't I <laughs> um, yeah so is everyone all ready for Christmas have you still got uh, things to do we still need to do like our Christmas food shop we'll probably do that I think on Tuesday we're going to pop into my work on Monday and go and get fuel in the car and stuff like a little errand day that's tomorrow yeah Sunday today <laughs> yeah so tomorrow we're gonna have like a little errand day and like get the car topped up with fuel and blah blah and drop into my work and say hello to them so that'll be nice just to drop off a little cake and card for them so I think we'll do our food shop either Tuesday or Wednesday and then the big day's on Friday so I'm hoping Christmas Eve is just going to be a total chill day. I want everything done before then because Michael's working as well so it'll just be me on my own and I just want to sit and chill in my Christmas pyjamas <laughs> chill out, enjoy myself, watch a Christmas movie and get ready for the big day the next day so yeah, that's my plan for the week Hey, good morning everyone. I didn't manage to film a lot yesterday so I thought I would just add the two days together. So it's now the 21st, yeah, 21st of December. Um, it's just after nine. Michael just going to take the boys to my mum's just for the morning because I'm wanting to just get things done. It's hard to get things done when we've got both of them. So just like get a little tidy up in the house, get all the washing sorted. Get my cakes decorated finally. <laughs> Lift it far too late. And then I wanted to go just pop into my work to drop off one of the cakes and hand out the rest of my family and friends. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly get ready and then I shall see you when I'm better dressed as I usually say. <laughs> see you guys, I told you I'd see you when I'm better looking. <laughs> um, I've just got like a kind of jumper top on with a little gold zip and some like... What's the word for them? They're like painted leggings. They've got like a kind of leather look leggings anyway. I wear them very rarely but I thought it's Christmas time. I've got to look smart and cute. <laughs> Plus I'm going into work so you know I've got to keep up appearances and look half decent. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I've got a huge pile of washing on the bed again. <laughs> but I wanted to get all the washing done before Christmas so we can just relax on the big day. So there's another two loads downstairs, one's in the dryer, one's in the washing machine. And then we're basically up to date apart from obviously the clothes that we'll be wearing today and tomorrow. <laughs> it's just never ending isn't it? So I'm not going to bore you with a video of me folding clothes again but I'll just pile. This is it here. <laughs> so it might take me a little while but we've got time. My mum's going to take the boys until tea time so that's really really helpful. Thank you mum. So let's get on with this and get it done. So there we have it guys, all the clothes are put away and I've made the bed, I've put all the cushion covers back on <laughs> and I've put my little my little tree out just so I think it looks cute. Just need to come back a little bit to show you guys. Feeling more organised now. <laughs> hey guys, so it's now about 12 o'clock, I've just spent all that time basically getting everything absolutely ready for Christmas. So I've got every single present wrapped. Every single little thing ready to go in stockings and Christmas Eve boxes, things like that. Um, so now it is time to decorate the cakes. Well, that took longer than I thought, to be honest. What time is it now? It's quarter to two now. <laughs> um, but the cakes all look amazing. I'm just getting them boxed up quickly and then we will head off and hand them out to friends and family. And I hope they enjoy. Um, I just, I, I've been making it every year since I was 11, this Christmas cake, and it's just got bigger and bigger every year, more and more cakes that I've been making, so <laughs> it's just a tradition now that we have to do every year, um, and it's one that I think will definitely stick with us. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get these boxed up and get ready to go. Look at all those cakes. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the actual state of our tree as well. <laughs> Uh, basically half the lights broke so we have to take them off and David kept just pulling at it so most of the bubbles from the bottom are all gone and also is like the branches are just like dying like it's totally dried up already and it's not even Christmas yet <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a bit of a fail this year but I still love it I still think it looks cute but maybe that's just me being optimistic <laughs> 
Hey guys, so we just been to deliver a cake to my auntie and uncle and he actually didn't recognise me at the door because I had the mask on and the glasses and that. <laughs> he was like, he like read the box that said my name and he's like, oh I didn't, didn't recognise you there. So that was quite funny. Anyway, so we're going off to my cousins and my work just to drop off cakes for them as well. So it's actually been quite nice just to get a little catch up with them at the, at the doorstep as well, obviously staying the two metres, but just like have a little chat and say Merry Christmas, that was quite nice. And we've got our special hats on. <laughs> Michael is like livid having to wear this hat. <laughs> but it'll be fine. Hey guys, so that's me just finished handing out all the Christmas presents. It's getting blooming darker outside already. So we're just going to head to my mum's, pick up the boys. Whoa! Speed bump. <laughs> it was just really nice to see my colleagues as well, just have a little catch up with them and hand in their little cakes. So can't wait. I'm actually quite excited to go back in January now to like just like see them all the time and chat with them, have a laugh with them. They're such a good bunch there. So yeah, I'll see you later. Hey guys, so it's now much later. It is five to seven at night. We just had dinner and stuff, and I had a couple glasses of wine. I got a bit of wine mouth. Not the best look. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so David has just gone into the bath with Michael. Hopefully he'll go down tonight, but he's been really like quite sore tonight with his teeth. So I give him a little powder after dinner. I'm hoping that'll help him, but he's just been quite clingy and just like wanting to cuddle in with me and feed. But I don't know if that's because he's been at my mum's today as well. So he's obviously been like missing getting the breast <laughs> getting the boob um so we'll see how he goes but it's christmas week so i'm not like too bothered if he's like sleeping beside us every night and just like having little movie nights in bed in our pjs which isn't that bad is it like he's not going to be like that forever so he'll be a teenager and he'll not want to have anything to do with me so i'm just trying to embrace <laughs> the cuddly snuggly stage that he's at just now and just enjoy it while it's here. <laughs> um, so, what what am I doing now? I'm just going to hopefully watch Emmerdale while David's in the bath. And then try and get him off to sleep. And then we'll probably just chill out, get our PJs on. <laughs> and maybe watch a little Christmas movie. I'm currently drinking. I've had a couple glasses away. I'm now on the water because I just can't handle it anymore. So I've got my little Christmas tree glass. Mmm. I think I got these from Asda last year. I remember having them all the time beside me when I was postpartum because you get really, really thirsty postpartum. <laughs> so like they remind me of like when I just had David. But they're actually like quite a good size. I like having a straw as well. Anyway, I'm just waffling again. I do apologise. But it is... What's the date today? It's only four days till Christmas. How exciting is that? So I managed to get like loads done today as well, so I was really happy with that. All the presents are prepared, everything's all ready. We just need to try and keep on top of the washing now and try and keep the house tidy for the big day because I just want it to be nice and relaxing and not having to do anything on Christmas Day, obviously, apart from eat, cook, eat and open presents. <laughs> That's what it should be all about. That's what I think anyway. So, um... This has been a bit of a random vlog, hasn't it? Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new, and check me out on Instagram as well. It's Mum's Vlog. Bye!